There is a perfect plan that God has for you. And the Bible says, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So it means that there is a plan that God has for you. You know, sometimes the plan of God will involve a little bit of pain, a little bit of tears. Look at a man by the name Joseph. Joseph is a man who God had a plan with. And the Bible tells me that God had shown Joseph in a dream that this man will be great. That one day the father and the brothers will bow before him. That was the plan. But look at where the plan of God got Joseph to. The moment God revealed the plan in the life of Joseph, now we see Joseph being put in a pit. Now we see Joseph being sold as a slave. We see Joseph in Potiphar's house. We see Joseph being tempted by Potiphar's house and now he is in the prison. Now you begin to wonder why is Joseph going through all this stuff? And God told him that he had a plan with Joseph. The Bible says that the plan that God has for you, there are plans to prosper. So the prosperity is in the pain that Joseph has to go through. The prosperity is in the prison that Joseph has to be in for him to get to where the plan is leading. Sometimes when we hear God speaking of plans in our life, we expect that things are going to be great. We expect that our journey is going to be smooth. But child of God, I want to bring to your attention that as long as God has a plan in your life, the devil will always arise to make sure that you don't realize the plan. Now Jehovah is saying that, I know the plans I have for you. There is a plan. The reason why you are passing through what you are passing through is because child of God, there is a plan. At times, this plan has caught you to go to your knees and pray. At times, this plan has caught you to fast, seek the scriptures. The plan has given you a burden for you to do some things that other people cannot do because the, you are the one with the plan. You are the one who God has told that I know the plans I have for you. And he says clearly, plans for prosperity. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. When you hear God bringing the word harm on board, it means that at a time it will look like you are getting to be harmed. You are getting to lose. You are getting to incur some pain. But the Lord says that this plan is not to harm you because I see Joseph moving. He's wondering, God, you spoke to me. You said I would be a great man. Why do my brother hate me? Notice that before the plan, before God had spoke to the life of Joseph, there was no trouble. There was no trouble in the family. It was until God now brought a plan in the life of Joseph that his brothers arose. They tried to kill Joseph. The problem is not Joseph. The problem is the plan. Sometimes you get yourself in some situation. And you wonder, why am I broke? Why am I crying? 
Why do I have to go through what I'm going through yet? God said, He will bless me. God said. I love this about God. When He has a plan, the plan is to prosper. It may look like right now it is not working. Right now, all you see is pain and tears. But he has guaranteed that that plan, it will prosper. It will prosper, child of God. It will not harm you. Rather, the Bible says, plans to give you hope and a future. There is a future. There is a way where God is taking you. There is somewhere that God wants you to be. But there is a problem because for you to get to where God wants you to be. For you to get to where God has purposed. You will have to go through some pain. You will have to go through some challenges. Joseph is a man who God had introduced a plan in his life. The Bible is saying, I know the plans I have for you. I know the plans I have for you. Where there is a plan, child of God, it means that even though things may look as if they are not working, there is a plan because Jesus, God is saying that this plan I have for you, it is not to harm you. It is purpose to prosper you. Right now the plan may look as if it is not working. Right now the plan may look as if it is working against you. But notice that. The Lord God is saying plans to prosper you. There is prosperity where you are headed through. Where you are headed there is prosperity child of God. Where you are headed, there is something about your life that is about to arise, that is about to come out of whatever situation you may be going through right now. People may be laughing. Others may be clapping because you are stuck. You began so well and along the way something happened. People are watching. They're saying, we told you this man will never get anywhere. The brothers of Joseph thought that by putting Joseph in the pit, they will limit the plan of God. What they didn't know was that they were pushing Joseph to a direction, to a place where the plan of God was going to get fulfilled. There is a plan, child of God. There is a plan that God has for you. And he is saying, the plan is to prosper you. The plan is not to harm you. The plan to bring you hope. To give you a future. Right now you may be worthless. You may, wa you may be wondering, why does my life look like this? It is because, child of God, there is a place that God is taking you. There is a destination that God is taking you called hope. A destination of a great future. I want to pray with you tonight. And as I make this prayer, God will give you the grace for you to hold on so that you can get to the place of hope. So that you can get to the place of your future. You may have been wondering why have you left me Lord. But God is saying I am in charge. Remember the plan. Remember the plan. Father I pray for your children. Wherever they are watching from Elisha die. Touch their lives in a mighty special way. If there be one among them that has lost hope, that has lost courage and grace to keep on moving, 